Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover congruent triangles. Um, right now, on this board, I have four sets of photographs. You can see that these two are equal from all sides, and they have length and breadth are same. Okay, so they are congruent. These two are congruent. These two are congruent. These two are congruent. These two are congruent. But if you're looking this, we can call that these two are similar okay as a matter of fact we can call all of them are similar but uh, congruent are special type of similar thing that has all length side angle they are equal to each other okay but similar means that they are proportionally either small or big so this photograph from this one is proportionally small or we can say that this photograph from this one is proportionally large okay so these are this are similar photograph but especially these two are known as congruent these two are congruent today i'm going to talk about congruent triangles okay now let's say what are congruent triangles and what are the test of congruent triangles okay um test of congruent triangles we have four tests uh, one is known as sss and that actually means side 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 okay if i have a triangle is such this one a b c and then i have another triangle that p q r and if it's given that a b equal to p q and b c equal to q r and a c equal to p r then these two triangles are congruent okay so what what we're talking about we are talking about in triangle abc and triangle pqr okay then what happened we have ab equal to ab equal to pq then bc equal to qr and ac or you can go Counter, uh, counterclockwise a b b c c a c a then we have to go r p r p okay when three sides of a triangle equal to three sides of another triangle then we can say these two triangles are congruent okay we can write down congruent like this the symbol is like that congruent symbol is like this or sometimes we write down it like that congruent okay this is equivalent to or um, we can some of the teachers some of the book use this is for the congruent this symbol for the congruent and some use that okay most of the time i use this okay so this is congruent this is one of the test of congruency for the triangle but there you have noticed one thing see that a b length a b and length pq i wrote down they are equal See that one bar, this one bar, whenever you have seen in the geometry um, shapes that one bar and there is another bar, you can say that these two are equal. And over here, two bars and over here, two bars. So these two are equal. This two bar and this three bar never equal. So this is a pattern that when you see one bar in the same shape, same problem, one bar in one place and another bar in another place, then you can say these two are equal. So AB equal to PQ, they have one bar. BC equal to QR, they have two bars, and CA equal to RP, they have three bars. Okay, so they are equal. And you can write down SSS, that's the test of congruency. After you write down two triangles are congruent, you always have to show the test of congruency. In this case, it's SSS. Okay, now what is the next one? Next one is, I'm gonna go for SAS, okay? Now, as it is, I'm just going to write down that. S means side. You already have done that. Side. And A for angle. And then that is side. Okay. Now, this angle is little special angle. Okay. I'm coming to that uh, in a second. So, draw these two triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle. Same triangle. I'm going to put PQR. Okay two sides so let's say this side equal to this side this side equal to this side and this angle it's in between two sides so we can say this one 
this it has to be equal to that okay and we we'll write down included angle okay included means in between these two given side included angle we are not gonna say side angle side we're gonna say side included angle side so this side equal to this side this side equal to this side and in between these two sides the angle I have they are equal okay when I have any condition like that then these two triangles are congruent so let me write down that in triangles in triangle ABC and triangle PQR I have AB equal to PQ then you can write down angle ABC equal to angle PQR angle PQR and BC equal to QR therefore we can write down therefore we can write down triangle ABC is congruent to I have used this sign right, right now I'm going to use this sign both of them are equal triangle PQR and what is the test of congruency side included angle side or SAS okay now test of congruency number three okay and then th this one is gonna be a a s okay um whenever i write down on the board for the first time student started to laugh and a smile and you you can tell why okay but uh let me let me write down this this is angle i'm gonna explain why did i write down that okay angle angle then side okay now some may write down asa like this one angle in the middle included so if i write it like that then it means that uh, in between two given angle that side corresponding side but this is not the truth okay it should be corresponding side but not included angle if it's another side it should be okay for congruency test okay uh, let me give you this this uh, diagram first then i'll explain if I have A, B, C, and over here I have P, Q, R, okay? So over here, this angle A and this angle P, they are equal. And then I'm going to use this B equal to Q. Same as one bar equal to one bar side over here. For angle, one arc length, one arc length, they are equal. And when I have two arc lengths, two arc lengths, these two are equal. So these two arc length and one arc length angle are never equal. In the same problem, same math, um, same diagram, if you have one arc length and another angle have uh, one arc length, so these two are equal. And two arc lengths, two arc length, they are equal. Okay. Now, let's say I'm going to say this side equal to this side given okay it has to be corresponding side angle angle corresponding side not included angle if it's included angle it's gonna okay okay but corresponding side so in this case we're gonna say angle angle and corresponding side now if i put like that angle angle and this may mean that in between these two angles, this side, in between these two angles, this side, not necessarily, okay, whenever it's a test of congruency, any corresponding side will do. I, I may have this, see, one arc length drawn angles opposite side is this one, and one arc length angles opposite is this one, so these are corresponding sides are equal. Instead of that, if I had CA equal to RP, that should be okay too, because both of them are equal to the equal angles given okay or this included angles side should be okay to you so to just avoid the confusion i write down angle angle corresponding side you may write down saa okay it doesn't matter okay saa side corresponding side angle angle this or this should be okay and to just avoid the confusion we are not going to write like this okay i hope you understand that so now, now what are we going to do in triangle ABC and triangle PQR angle BAC, BAC equal to angle QPR, QPR, these angles are given and then ABC, ABC equal to PQR, angle PQR 
and this side BC equal to QR given. So two angles and one corresponding side is given. Then we can write down therefore triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. And as before, we're going to write down test of congruency, angle, angle, corresponding side. Okay, that's the third one. Now let's go for the fourth one. Fourth one is RHS. Now R is right angle. Okay, right angle. And then H is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse means opposite of the right angle triangle, uh, right angle. And side is any corresponding side. Okay, so... When it's like that, let me let me draw this right angle. So it must be a right angle triangle. So A, B, C, having this B, a right angle. This is a small square box represent right angle. Then I have P, Q, R, and this is right angle. Opposite of right angle is this is hypotenuse. This hypotenuse are equal. And then take any other uh, side. Let me take this and this, okay? so. This one in triangle ABC and triangle PQR, triangle PQR, uh, angle B equal to angle Q equal to 90 degree. That's for right angle or for R, okay, right angle. And then hypotenuse is AC equal to PR, okay, hypo or hypotenuse. And then corresponding side BC equal to QR. And when I have that, I can write down triangle ABC. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. And as usual, we're going to write down test of congruency is RHS, right angle, hypotenuse, and corresponding side. Now, when we have this test of congruency, okay, after proving that two triangles are equal, what can we achieve? Now, see that in these two triangles, I have three pairs of side, okay? So let me write down. I have every every, tri every pair of triangles you can see over here. From these two triangles, from these two triangles, from these two triangles, from these two triangles, I can see three pairs of sides and three pairs of angles. Can you see that? One and one, that's one pair, two pair, three pairs of side and one pair of angle, two pair of angle, three pairs of angles, okay? Now, over here, we have proven that three corresponding pairs of sides are equal, okay? When we have that, when you can prove that these triangles are congruent, these two triangles are congruent, having three equal sides, then automatically I can say that, therefore, there are three angles, corresponding angles must be equal. So, that means, what I mean, that this angle A, it's opposite of the two bar side. Opposite of two bar side is this equal to that. So in this case, I can write down that angle A equal to angle P. That what we can derive. And angle B equal to angle Q and ang angle Q and angle C equal to angle R. Angle C equal to angle R. Okay, so that's what we can achieve as soon as we prove that these two triangles are congruent. Now, same thing over here. I have proven that two pairs of sides, uh, with, the, with, the, with the information given, two sides, uh, two pairs of sides are equal to each other and one pair of angle equal to each other. So since I already have taken um, or given two sides are equal and one angle is equal, then I can show that other two angles and one side are equal. That means I can go for this one, uh, this angle equal to this angle. That means angle A equal to angle P. This one already was considered or given. Then angle C equal to angle R. Angle C equal to angle R. And this side is left. So this side equal to this side. That's what we can say. So AC equal to P. R, okay, so we from this SAS or side included angle side we can derive this information that they are equal Now when we are coming to this we use two angles and one side so we can prove other two sides 
and one angle are equal to each other. So I have taken this. So this left, this angle and this angle left. So I can say angle C equal to angle R. And then since this one was already taken, it was given BC equal to QR. So I can say this AB equal to PR, uh, PQ, AB equal to PQ and this AC equal to PR. AC equal to PR. Okay, so that's done. And over here, I have right angle, one angle. So I can uh, say that other two angles, corresponding angles are equal to each other. And then two sides are given. So third side has to be equal. So I can say angle C equal to angle R, angle C equal to angle R from these two triangles and angle A equal to angle P, angle A equal to angle P, and AB equal to PQ. Okay, so that's done. Okay, um, I hope you understand the test of congruency for the triangles. Uh, in my next video, I'll do a test of similarities. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a good day.